Hello guys, welcome back to the former off-grid cabin. This is going to be like an updated tour uh, of my cabin. Again, 12 by 16, that's the loft up there, I still have to finish the ceiling. You know, it's a work in progress as they say, but that's a big loft, 12 by 16. These are, this is not a shed to house, shed to cabin thing. This I built from scratch, if you will. These are actual eight foot walls. Uh, I like the way I did the loft up there, the inside the kitchen area and inside the bathroom area. It's only about uh, six and a half. A little less than seven feet tall because that gave me more headroom in the loft when I use it. Uh, let's see. This is the bathroom. Still have to get my lights set up in here. But that's the bathroom area <laughs> and some storage. The problem with 12 by 16 is you don't have a ton of room. But you can see... That's my electric line I ran from the meter all the way back there. And one of the reasons why I am on the grid and one of the things that made me decide to do this, you see all this light I have? I've had no solar production for two days. It has rained and been overcast. It rained most all today and overcast. Tomorrow is rain and overcast. So... You know, I like the convenience of being on the grid. A lot of people were mad at me because I decided to go on the grid and not stay off the grid. But one of the things I was able to do with all this extra power, I now have a microwave, small microwave, the Keurig, uh, a toaster, a two-burner hot plate, you know, I don't have to use the propane burner anymore. And I just, all these conveniences. I'm getting ready to do a live stream tonight. That's why this is all set up. But I wanted to give you a quick updated tour. It's been a while since I've done anything inside here. But this wire that's coming out is for a ceiling fan and light kit that will be going in. But yeah, I like it. I am happy with all this. You know, 12 by 16 is small. I'm not going to move a family in here. But for one person, I could really live here. I wouldn't have a problem. Uh, I have a the small refrigerator there. But I like having all this extra stuff now. I don't have to worry about power. I don't have to worry about it. You know, how did my solar do? My four-year-old batteries that are getting old that at some point I'm going to have to replace. But I can show you. It looks a lot brighter than it is. But once again, it's raining. We get a lot of rain out here. <laughs> you know, winter time, you only have a few hours for light anyway. But I'll be taking those down tomorrow, maybe. Moving them to the back uh, because I still have my rain catchment and my 12 volt pump in there, so that's still connected to the batteries. So I'm still going to keep the solar and keep it all charged. As a prepper, I now have three methods of power for this cabin, should I need them. I have the grid power. I have my generator and I have my solar and I showed you how all three of them plug into the cabin. So no matter what happens, I'm covered. <laughs> but yeah, this is my updated tour and all of my new electrical appliances now. It was kind of weird because I went to uh, the store. And I'm like, wait a minute. 
I have a microwave. I have a toaster. I have a toaster oven that I got to get out of the uh, power shed. I've got it stuck in there for right now. Um, so I have all these different things I can use to cook on. Now my whole menu out here has expanded. <laughs> I don't have to look for just one pot things or, you know, just something I can throw on the grill or the griddle. I have everything now. But it's so nice to be able to wake up in the morning, turn on my Keurig, and make a cup of coffee instead of having to, you know, light the butane stove and heat up water and make instant coffee. So, yeah, that's why I'm now on the grid and we'll be using the solar and the generator as backup. But hopefully I will see all of you on my live stream tonight. I'm out.